Hello everyone, welcome to Southern Reads. Today I'm going to show you around my craft room. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. At first, I'm going to quickly go through and just show you around, and then I'll go into detail about each section. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to start over here in this corner. I'm just showing you this picture that I picked up at a thrift store. This right here is garland. And these over here, it's hard to see. These are mailbox swags. And then this is a giant wreath that I hang over my garage. I just hang it in here because I don't like, I like wreaths. Over here I have my paper cutter. I mainly use that when I make flower petal wreaths because I can cut a lot of petals quickly. That's my extra computer and my sign that I put up when I go to craft fairs. And then underneath I have a couple baskets that hold some projects that I've started and just haven't finished. I also have my light bags and my computer bag. All right, and then going over here, this is where I store my signs. I hate this system but I cannot figure out a better way to store my signs. I, my, my goal with my craft room is to set it up like a store and I just, I have so many signs that I can't spread them out. So I have them in sections like, this is summer and spring. These are like my everyday wreaths. And there's also a few like miscellaneous wreaths, like the breast cancer one. Then down here I have Easter, a little bit more spring, and Valentine's Day. Then down here I have Christmas, and then there'll be winter in with the Christmas. And then at the bottom I have Thanksgiving, fall, and Halloween. So I just store them in these, these little gold baskets. That's the best way I've been able to find to store them. It's not perfect, but I kind of know where everything's at, so that's nice. Then over here, this is my step letter because I have all of my wreath forms up so high. I needed this one. It's really old and dirty. We have painted, so it's got a nice white sheen on it. This is where I hang any extra floral garland. Like these are my uh, frosted eucalyptus. All right, and then we'll go over here. This is where I put the wreath that I'm currently working on and I'm gonna take pictures of because I can take these lights and turn them around and shine them onto the wreath so I can get a good view. And I'm trying to get most of my ribbon in the camera. Okay, so I have my ribbon set up. 
um, it's rainbow on the left. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. And then on the back, I'll try to go closer. I have it set up seasonally until you get to the bottom. So on top I've got some 4th of July, Mardi Gras, Easter, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, my Halloween that goes into the fall. And then when you get to the fourth shelf, that's when I have my black and white, my browns, golds, gray, and silver. Over here in this corner, this is where I have scraps where I've either lost the sides of the ribbon and there's not a lot left or there's only just a little bit left. Sometimes I save it because I might use it for tails and a wreath or a, a bow. I'm not 100% sure why I save them. I like ribbon. The basket under there has a lot of the Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and a couple other ribbons that I have a ton of. So I have one to represent the ribbon on my shelf and then the overstocks over there. All right, and then these are where I put my larger ribbons. This is the only place I have my Christmas ribbon out right now. The bottom two are pretty much all Christmas except till you get to the right. And then everything above that is just my larger ribbons. I actually keep my Christmas ribbon packed away in a tote and I'll show you that. I will switch out all of these four top rows with my Christmas ribbon when Christmas comes. I'll just, you know, pull it down, put the Christmas up and then add in my, my Christmas up there. <laughs> All right, so this wall is nothing but wreath frames. I have a ton of different kinds. Most of them are from Dollar Tree. I have different sizes, like these are the really large ones. I have square, hearts, footballs. I have tiny ones, stars. And then I also have my my uh, evergreen wreaths. So across the top here, I have more of these gold wire baskets. And these are all of my Dollar Tree ribbons. I mean, mesh. Until you get to the end, there's a few that aren't Dollar Tree. And then I have this extra burlap because I didn't have enough room down here. I built this out of cube storage from Walmart. I bought, um, I can't remember exactly how many, but I can do a video on how I made it because I think I recorded myself making it when I moved here. But I used extra ones, like I bought more than I needed to separate. I had originally used this for scrapbook paper, but when I got more into wreaths, I just converted it into my mesh. Then here I have my six inch mesh and it goes down into like more of the four inch mesh and my burlap. And then the bottom I have like the lace burlap and tool and some mesh ribbon. And then I made a Halloween uh, book like from Hocus Pocus. I made this years ago, but I just keep it down here because I like it. I have it separated by color, but not in any particular order this time because the, the bottom shelves down here, the three, um, can only hold the 10 inch mesh because it has a back on it because I wanted the very bottom ones to have a back to keep the bottom sturdy so it would hold the whole thing together. But I basically have like the miscellaneous mesh at the bottom. This kind, the poly burlap, where it's got the strings that come out. I do try to keep all of the colors together, like light colors anyway but I'm not super duper picky about it. You can see when you get right here, I've got the pink is mix, mixed with some gold and some rose gold. Like I said, I'm not super picky. I just kind of like it to look a little, you know, a bit better. And then I have my wax warmer to make it smell nice in here. And then a couple more wreath forms. I don't really need this wreath form. It came in a bundle I picked up from off a of marketplace, but I just hung it there. And then over here is where I, store all of the extras that go on wreaths. Let's quickly go through each basket. In here I've got some Mardi Gras hats. Got some eyeballs. I think this is a Mardi Gras banner. I have some pears. Those are more for Christmas. Just an extra metal sign, an ornament. I've got some seashells, 
some of these little wood cutouts. Over here I have some ties from Dollar Tree and a garland from Dollar Tree and you can cut these up to make ties as well. And here I have all my Halloween stuff. I bought these picks at Walmart last year. They were really cheap. So I went and bought pretty much every one they had. And then in here I have my spider web. In this basket I have my eggs, some Easter bunny things. The little tails off of these are perfect for the tops of snow, um, Santa Claus hats if you use the witch frames. Oops. And then in here I just have some carrots, like a big carrot garland. So just my Easter basket. And in here I have some fall stuff. I have some scarecrows, some raffia, a pumpkin, a little piece of a sign I didn't use, and some leaves. And here is my Valentine stuff. All I have left are these big hearts. And here I just have random Christmas stuff. I have lights, battery powered lights. I have a few of those. Some ornaments, some little signs. This is like a door hanger. Little bows. Just a few different things in here. Some more lights. When you get up here, I have some extra bows that I have for sale. In this basket, I have several of these Santa Clauses. I thought they would be so cute on evergreen wreaths. And then I just have a lot of different ornaments. Little Tennessee ornaments and candy and little sleighs with Santa Clauses. And like this says joy. Some picks. I love these little signs. In the middle here I have some pine cones. These are centers for my flower wreaths. And then in here I have the same thing. I have lots of different Christmas stuff. I have the ornaments and picks and all my candy stuff. In this corner I have my tripod box, which I'm actually using right now. And my camera bag. And right here is random things. I've got extra hot glue, I've got nails, stuffing, that plate is from a hot glue gun. My daughter took some Play-Doh and stuck a bunch of push pins in it. I've got my paper punch, a folder with some family stuff in it, extra paper, uh, my wire, uh, floral wire is down there. Okay, so this box right here is my Christmas ribbon. This is my Christmas ribbon. My daughter uses this as like a little desk. Under here is Easter ribbon. That it's all the Dollar Tree Easter ribbon. I had a wreath that sold really well one year, so I just stocked up on the the ribbons when I found them. All right, this is all my Christmas ribbon. And I try not to buy any after Christmas only because I already have so much. Now granted, I know there are a lot of people who have a lot more. But I've, are, I've used a lot during the season. So I too had a lot of ribbon, but I try to kind of go down a little bit when I'm finishing with Christmas. And this is my wall of flowers. I kind of have them separated by color. This is more like the pink and the pastels, and then I've got the green down there. I've got purple and like real green, not the evergreen. I've got purple, green, blue, then I have red and black, like Halloween stuff. I have my black and white in the middle, gold and silver and rose gold. These are the extras. I keep all of the leaves from all of the flowers just to have them as filler. And then I have these little cute ones. Then up top, I've got, oops, <laughs> up top I've got my evergreen wreaths. I got these for like 40 cents at Old Time Pottery last year after Christmas. 
because they were so cheap I had to get them all. Up here I have some of my witch hats that I was telling you about. I take those apart and wrap them in red and white at the bottom and then you put a little you know either a rabbit tail or something white on the top and they make awesome Santa hats. And then I have my spider web. That red basket has just random things. It has some my packing tape for my boxes, some envelopes, a notebook, a few other things. That's my Cricut. Behind my Cricut I have extra ink for my printer, my charger for the battery packs for my camera, and the mats, the sticky mat for my Cricut. And then these are all the boxes. I buy them either 10 or 15 at a time and then I go through and cut them down. So they're 18 by 18 by 5. I do that so as I get orders I don't have to worry about it. This drawer has again random things but I keep my sewing things in here and some extra fabric. I made a gnome um, like Christmas tree gnome, uh, tomato cage gnome and that's just some extra stuff I had left over and then I've got like some hardware and stuff and then this is a bag I got. I got to go to the May May Made It Make It Con. <laughs> All right, in this drawer I've got my Mod Podge, some extra floral wire, got some canvases for the center of flower wreaths, some grommets, some more Mod Podge, some Gorilla Spray, ooh, one of five staples for this. My stapler that I've been looking for. In this shirt, I have more canvas and my tool, and then an old camera bag. In this drawer, I have all of my spray paint. There's a lot. And then in this drawer, I have rope and all of my mesh tubing. And I have this moss that I use when I make centers for my floral. Over here is where I film. This is where I mount my camera. There's my lights. There's my desk. I like it in the middle of the room because it's not taking up any space on the wall so I don't have to worry about it. So this right here rolls and I use it to hold things while I'm making wreaths. It holds my trash bag and it also works as a desk because my I like my desk being up high so I don't have to sit while I'm crafting and that's why I have a chair in here. I'll pull this chair up to this uh, thing and work on my computer. That's how I edit and everything. Then under there I have my printer and then I'm going to show you everything I have in my basket that stays beside me while I'm crafting. In my basket beside me I like to keep everything within reach that I use a lot of. I also have my bow dagger off to the side and my piece of cardboard. It's, it's right here. It's handy so I can grab it if I need it. I've got my ruler, my new hot glue gun, my heat tool. Ah, my heat tool, my pipe cleaners, I have all my zip ties. This is a paint marker for one of the wreaths I did. There's my extra glue sticks. I like to keep a rag nearby. I have my rotary cutter. This is my mask. Um, I found that I needed this when I was using my heat tool, which is also over there on that little white shelf. I have my scissors, E6000, my wire cutters. And then just lots of pins and random things. I usually keep this clipped on the side. My daughter was playing with it. And then this knife helps me cut my boxes because I can't find my the knife for my box cutter. This is glue stick to roll down my pipe cleaners. And this is what I use to connect my camera to the ceiling. And I like to keep all this stuff right next to me when I'm crafting or making wreaths. So that I don't have to run around my room. Well, there's my craft room. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I did want to point out that you can tell that I like to see everything I have. That's why I have clear bins and everything's out and open. I do not like things hidden away because I'm one of those people that will forget that I have it. I even hate having those drawers, even though I can see through them. I just like to be able to see everything all the time. So if y'all have any questions, just let me know. I can try my best to, you know, help you find things. Most of the stuff I have in here, honestly, I just got at thrift stores or 
flea markets like this desk I got on marketplace but I know certain things like that I got on Amazon my lights I got at Walmart on walmart.com and my shelf I have a video on my mesh shelf I do not have one on this but I can kind of explain it to you if you're interested in how I made it but that's it if y'all have any questions, please be sure to let me know and like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.